Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5015878 or KB5015730. So if you are unable to install these updates on your Windows 10 computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, click on settings. Now click on update and security. Now click on troubleshoot, click on additional troubleshooters, click on windows update and then click on run the troubleshooter. Now once the troubleshoot is complete, now restart your computer and after the system restart, update your windows 10 once again. Still you are unable to install the updates, in that case use windows 10 update assistant. For this copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see update assistant. Click on update now. Run this exe file. Now click on yes to allow and this will launch Windows 10 update assistant. It will check for update. Now you will see install or update option. So if your Windows 10 is, if there is any pending update, it will give you install or update option. So click on it and then update your Windows 10. Still you are unable to update, then in that case, reset Windows update components. For this, copy all these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy the command till here. Now open notepad on your computer, type in notepad in windows search box and then click on notepad, paste all the command over here. Now go to file and then click on save as, set the location as desktop, name this file as wufix.bat and for save as type select all files, now click on save. Now go to desktop, here you can see wufix.bat file, make a right click, then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you are opening this file as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now this will open command prompt. First of all, it will stop all the windows update services. And then it will run some scans. Now there are a couple of scans, so the scan will take some time. Now once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and then after that restart your computer. Once the, once the process is complete, restart your computer and then update your windows 10 once again. Now if nothing is working, you can use media creation tool to update your windows 10. For this, again copy this link, go to Microsoft website, scroll down, here you can see media creation tool, click on download now and then run this exe file and then you will see the screen click on accept and then by default upgrade this PC now would be selected. So click on next and let the download complete. Now this process will take some time. Once the download is complete, now before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. Now when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer, click on install after the installation, log into your computer and your Windows 10 should be up to date. So you should be able to install these updates on your Windows 10 computer. So one of the steps should help you to fix the issue. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.